And she's my favorite child. I'm a little red in the face. Because this past weekend I spent the whole time out at a drift event here on in the New Orleans area. Held by my friends in No Drift. And the reason I'm addressing you now, I started another YouTube channel. This one deals with cars and stuff. And car repair, cars, cars repairs, drifting, things like that. Whereas this channel does with film stuff. So the link will be in the description if you want to go watch it. But I want to cover the film aspects of the drift video. And how the drift video is good in its own way because of these filmmaking techniques and aspects or something like that. That makes any sense. stop right there and kind of dive into some of the um, the way I shot organized. so obviously this is my mini structure um, I mean my timeline structure uh, which I'm gonna go go briefly uh, kind of rename so the anime is this anime stuff right here the which I just googled like anime sound effects and it was a video with this and I took out the blue and and that's where all the sound effects came from uh, Sabelt, Grip Royal, um, and Valino were all um, kind of like in partnership with Innodrift on this because they had some some stuff for day two competition. So I just kind of brought their logos in so it would like pop one, you know. And then, you know. And this logo they had made for the event. So I just started off with nice, cool shot, you know. But I'm not going to go into too much of how to do that that kind of stuff. What I want to talk about more is a little bit of the grading that you see here in these shots. And uh, and uh, even matching the GoPro. Because even these shots with the GoPro and the Sony, they're matching in a lot of ways. I mean, they're not perfect because I did this in like two hours. But the general white, black, and midtones are very similar. So, but what I really want to talk about is how I did these shots. And this is what separates drift videos for the most part is, uh, I'm not, well, not drift videos. This is what separates like s lots of like skill and filming and just general, like with your cell phone. So what we have here is I pushed myself on the other side of a wall, put my tripod as low as I could, which got this barrier right here in the middle of the shot and and what all I did was as this car came through I panned and I had my my f-stop really low like f2 f2 4 maybe and everything pretty much stays in focus and, and what happens is by doing that you get this as Jeff Perkins said there's drama and it's a good point there is draw there's tension there's energy there's because if I would crop this out and let's just like take a look. If I were to crop this image by a little bit and try to get some of that out, like, oh, I want to see closer, you know, or something like that. Let's say it's here, right? Now, mine composition, but if we do this, while it's still kind of cool, it lacks something. It lacks some, like, drama, as Jeff Perkins put it. And that's just by having this little foreground object. And it doesn't have to be a berry. It could have been a cone. It could have been a person's head. It could have been anything. And it's just similar to what I did here. You create depth in your shot by adding you know, objects. Drifting on these skill pads, it's very hard to tell uh, what's going on. Um, because the cones are so small and understanding the layout is very hard. So when you can add a little bit of depth in the shot, 
you know, like this. This is even way better. Like, just feel that energy. Uh, and then later, of course, I just, they had this um, booth they built, and I got up real high, and I was able to... Again, at death, because now I was at a higher angle, we could see the layout of the course, see the angles that they were trying to attempt, and it all creates this energy um, that helps sell the the event, the event and the momentum, and that just carries through. And then, like, I'll, and when I watch this video, it's interesting. But then, like, at a certain point, like through here, it just starts to get a little boring because there's this, there's repetition to it. You know, the drifting and stuff. And I know there's purists out there that love drift videos. All there, all there is is drifting. But I tried to make something entertaining. So I tried to balance like people who just want to watch drifting while also trying to tell a story. Now, there's not much of a story, but like we have like we open up with some cars, you know, the day and we get like, oh, that's the course. And then we even get like a little shot of like some people taking off. And also while it's also at the same time trying to show as many cars as possible. Because there were a lot of people there, you know, and you want to give as many people coverage as possible. Uh, and, and that was kind of the goal. And then, so once I got, like, everything I wanted out of these two angles of single cars, because we had these are single cars, I was like, how do we increase the story? Well, like, and so I had this shot here. Uh, my, uh, my friend Pete is driving this Scion FRS. And uh, so I just got a nice little shot of him. And I cut the music out too, just to kind of accentuate his little bit of little bit of drifting that I had. Now this shot, I, I that's me right there, and I put this on here to, for a tandem. Tandem is when two cars drive together. Problem is, my friend Jeff was now behind, so we were never going to see anything. So I started approaching him to take it off, and I thought this was like, this is like a little candid moment. It's like a weird angle, and I'm just walking by, and then. He takes off, and I'm like, oh, son of a bitch. And I thought, what about, how do I make this? So I was like, Metal Gear Solid, ding, you know? And so many people laughed at this. So many people loved it. It's just those little, and it brings it to video games, brings it back to anime, which is kind of what I did with the opening of the uh, whole thing with this. Because their, their, their graphics is very anime, very video game. And by doing the whole logo, like, and then doing the Metal Gear Solid thing, it all kind of like helps tie into this theme or uh, maybe a theme of like story but theme of like visuals and then he takes off and then I filmed the entire like dr driver's meeting that's my friend Daniel right there Debo and you can see Kim Tran that's the other guy uh, another guy in a drift Dom Dom's behind this guy where you can't see him but um I, I scanned his whole thing I was like I just wanted like a sound bite something and then, what else? is this what else? And then they're like, oh, tandem, that's what else. Because they had these lines, solo drivers by themselves, tandem. And then I just highlighted it. Go to Little Black, and then come in on Music Cue. And we get the same angles, but now we have two cars. So now we're like unfolding a new element of the day, a new story element. And, I, you know, and it's just all my same angles, but now it's the tandem vehicle. So, and here's my friend Jeff Perkins. This is his car and in, in going after uh, this car, a tandem. And it, and it keeps up with the same general kind of aesthetic, uh, grade, feel. The only problem is GoPro is inside of a waterproof housing. So that's why you don't hear, like, any of the engine noises that well. Because they're very muffled. But yeah. And a nice little cut for there, you know. I just I love shot because I think that's really cool. Anyway, continuing with, and there he is again from a different uh, angle, you know, drifting with a bunch of people following him. And then this is being the last one right here, coming up. You know, and now like, how do I end this story? How do I end this story I'm telling? So I, you know, go through my B-roll. Like, anything you see something interesting, you know, captured it. Here's my friend Daniel driving a little mini bike. Of course, here my green. And then, black. And this is again, they, they, there's my GoPro, and they went into the pits here, and they had all this footage recording. And what's funny thing is, this car is owned by this guy, but it's this kid's car. It's like, it's like 14 or something. And he was like, oh, look, the GoPro, it's still on. Let me turn it off. And that's how I made this video. It was, it was a nice way of like ending, like, it's like functional, like he's ending the video, he's turning it off. So. 
that's that's how I you know tell a story. And just to talk about the grade a little bit, this is very simple like grade stuff right here. What I you know, and if I open up and what this is why I like Sony Vegas because you can add track effects, and also you can have audio and video on top of each other, which no other software allows. And like this is like a Pro Tools thing, but like it's in video form, so I really love it. But anyway, you have track effects here, which affect everything on here, and then you have the visual individual event effects, as you can see here. Like there's here's the effects for that particular clip. But here's the track effects for everything. And what I do ten t typically is I'll start with a track effect and apply it to everything because all the footage is pretty much going to be the same. And then I'll go and fine tune each one because, you know, uh, Sky may have like had a cloud, therefore exposure changes, you know, all those little minutia things. Uh, but, but the big thing that's on here is under my Magic Book looks that 50% effect is this one mo mojo. So you see how it looks? That's what their footage originally looked like. And then that's what the, the mojo full on. But I'm not using it at full. I'm using it at 50%. A little balance. A lot of contrast. A lot of like grittiness. But I pulled it back a little bit. And that's also on the GoPro f footage. Well, not that one. That's uncolored. But that's it's also there. So like if I turn it off, see how naturally it looks up there? And then boom. You know, it just and it adds this feel, this aesthetic. Um, that just helps sell everything and bring everything together. Uh, I could talk all day about how I color correct. Right, let's take a look at uh, day two. Let's stop right there, uh, just because there's a lot that just happened, like, in your face. So I start. I had this nice little shot right here, which, you know, with the sun piercing through, and I decided to do a glitch thing instead, which, you know, just download a glitch overlay, and using, like, compositing settings, like, to burn in or to, um, to, uh, you know, screen, whatever the, you know, and then I use glitch noises, so, and then right there. And what it is is like that's the the music coming through. You hear it, and like, and then they come in again. And then. so I had this shot right here of Ali, um, Daniel. This is Daniel, my friend. I just showed you earlier. His girlfriend. She's riding a little mini mini bike, and she's making this weird face. So I decided to like glitch it, and then like pop it. Just make really like use this kind of like surrealistic kind of moment, you know, or make it more surrealistic, I guess, in a way. About, you know, like, oh, we see it, ah, and cuts out kind of thing. Uh, and then just simple fade in day two. And I got a nice time lapse. And then the big thing is on the music cue, you know. So what makes, what? so when I was there, I just had this idea, like, there's pit lane right here, and they're coming down drifting this turn. And I was like, Approached Dominic, the, uh, another guy who works for InnoDrift, and I had this idea. I was like, what if I get the back of your pickup truck, you take off when I tell you to, and I'm going to just follow them and pan when they hit the turn. And that's where that idea came from. It, and it's like a big dolly move, a really fast. It feels like something you would probably see in like a Hollywood film, like on a, on a special rig vehicle. But what's great about this is I have some parallax right here and then that that right there that post right here helps break up the shot by adding energy momentum to it uh because I'm on a slight slight telephoto lens that makes sure to get them on here and and telephoto lenses are great for left or right movement to show speed and he's not really going left right he's kind of going left is more in the angle so all this movement and this right here all create more speed. I mean, let's just watch it real quick without sound. You still feel the speed of the shot. Like, the music helps it a lot, but you still just feel that swan, you know, like just energy in the shot. And what's interesting is, like, this is when it goes away because he starts to move away from us on a telephoto lens, so he looks like he's going a little slower. 
but it's still a cool shot and it because it's the end and we cut to and here i was on top of a thing and let the autofocus that's out of focus be part of that shot and here i'm the same thing i'm just kind of like capturing them coming in and they look like they're slowing down because they're moving away from me on a telephoto which is the only problem with telephoto when you can press space you know, and it just kept cutting together these little be- bits and pieces here. Are these guys drifting from this angle? Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. I was like, you get this, like, and I got these nice bars for here. Like, so this guy comes in, I'm paying left, right, boom, breaks up, th- breaks it up, breaks it up. All that, and that just makes us, like, appear like he's going so much faster on this telephoto lens than he really is. I mean, they are going fast, but it helps show that. And that's, like you know, and that's what I liked about being here was I had that. Granted, they also got in my way a lot of times because you see how, like, you can barely see right there. Like, one of the big things is on, where is it? Is it this shot? No, I think it's the next one. Oh, no, it's this one, yeah. So, you know, this guy comes in, Nick right here, great driver, just happened to overshoot a little bit. He slides out, and I really can't see him. I paint, even though when I pan back to him, I can't see him because of this thing. Um, what's interesting about that shot is I I synced it up to the music. So if you listen to just the you hear people going oh, and what's funny is if you hear just the music. Right when the music says O, oh, your boy says O. Oh. So you look for, you know, such. So I, I didn't choose the music because of that, but when I was putting these together, I heard that O oh, and I was like, wait a minute. And that's what made me put it right there. That's, I mean, that's his goal. That's, that's editing gold right there. You, you know, he's just got some cool stuff where this guy like crashes. You know, cut to, and I just cut to some B-roll, like him fixing his car, and then I did this whole thing with, you know, you know, just you try to add flair. Like going in the corner, like she was all like, whoa, 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 whoa. He was like, ah, block. And that's just me trying to do like a little Nemo impression, you know, uh, which just helps break up because we go from all this drifting, and then like you get you get a way to like break it up, and kind of like, sort of. Get rid of some of the monotony of the drifting, you know, and then uh, and then what what's interesting. So I've been going through all that that same angle, but then right there is when I like I start to like add something new. Let me turn this down, and then I get this shot coming up right here where I sync this guy's drift with this one again, using something in the foreground to help separate. You know, and we get these shots again. And it just helps, you know. This, these shots add up so much energy, uh, even when I mess up there and the, the camera tilts, or my friend camera right here is it sliding. But just look at that, like, you know, there's so much energy in these shots, and that's because of foreground. This one doesn't much because I'm not as close to the barrier, but this right here just. Oh, such that's just gold right there. That's because I was able to create that separation. But here we are, you're kind of ending and you know, B roll, you know, just like break up the monotony. And this is what uh, one of the winners won. Uh, you can't see it. Yeah, like it's a, it's a, it's meant to be interesting, and entertaining. So like I was like I was like competition, moo ha ha ha. You know, so I just found this. Shot of uh, Hugo weaving in the Matrix, laughing. I think Matrix Two, actually. Ah, judge, uh, yeah, the judges, come see. He's got- you know, and then like Je- Jeff here, that was driving in the three fifty Z in the other video. He, you know, he's he's the judge. And he says, oh, "I want money. I want." It says a hundred dollars, hundred points. <laughs> and I just pulled the uh, the laughing. I think Mexican. I think this is the Mexican television show. And, and then everyone makes these little memes about the guy, uh, you know, saying different things. I was like, he said, oh, no, 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 you know, because it's like, and of course, another, the couple on the bike, I don't know how they fit, you know. Anyway, break to the uh, drifting competition, which I only put a little bit in here, 
Uh, this is the very end, and that's just because I didn't really see a point in because I have like the whole drift competition, and it's not the best angle I got, but it's one of those I got the angle so people who watch the drift competition could see as much as they could unedited because it's on my, on the other channel, the car channel. As for color, um, I went with the classic kind of weird teal and orange blood bag. Uh, it's called in uh, at seventy eight percent. Uh, inside of looks blood bag you know it's basically a LUT turn it off boom like completely different right turn it on boom now it looks interesting like dark kind of seedy what it does is it brings up the blues and it brings up the oranges like if I go yeah so you see the it's kind of teal and orange teal orange turn it off watch look at this vector scope boom like it's like a balance image there's red there's green Cause there's green and there is red. Turn it off and it just pfft, everything like that, teal and orange. You know, here's the shadows. You know, before, after. Um, timeline was a little colored, but you know. Um, but even this shot, you know, before. I mean, that just looks like garbage. I mean, it's still an interesting shot, but now the color looks like garbage. Everything's kind of dark. You know, it's just, bleh. but. Boom. Skies brightened up. Roads brightened up. All this we see. You know, we see this car just like doing its thing before. It's like, eh. you know, and that's, and that's like, you know, you could do a lot with color if you know what you're doing. It's kind of hard. Even this stuff. You know, because I had my white balance uh, set to something else. It looked horrible. All fluorescent green. And, oh, now we look, everything looks nice and shiny. Uh, even I look different. You know, I look a little flatter there. Now I look a little interesting. Um, this shot too, before, it's okay, you know, but boom, you know, it just like adds so much flair to it, you know, before, after. I'm in the Sony's uh, A7 uh, III, and I tend to underexpose everything a little bit, so you see, this, like, you know, see how a lot of stuff's hunkered down, like there's a lot here because of the sky, but then afterwards, everything's a little more spread out. Just because Sony's do so much better in the shadows than they do in the highlights. Uh, at least, in, like, from my experience, everyone tells me, says differently. But my experience, I got I can get more detail out of all this if I underexpose it. See? I don't know. It's just my version of my opinion. Here's some GoPro stuff. Before, after. Before, after. I mean, it just looks so much better. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, they kind of look a little weird. The blood bags don't problem is it makes faces look a little weird. It's like their skin tone's a little unnatural there, but way unnatural there. But, you know, this is kind of the, the thing. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this kind of like breakdown description. If there are questions you have that I maybe like went over really quickly, let me know um, in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed. And stuff.